I have a really sweet way of preserving herbs from the garden. You're probably aware of the more traditional ways of preserving herbs, freezing, drying, heating. I'm gonna show you a more glamorous way to preserve them in the form of sage sugar. All you need is sage and sugar. First, trim off any debris or brown bits. Give the leaves a light rinse and pat dry. Next, place a layer of sage at the bottom of a one cup jar. After that, evenly pour a quarter inch layer of sugar over the sage. Repeat the layers of herbs and sugar until the jar is full, finishing the top with a layer of sugar. Finally, seal the jar and store in a cool, dark place for two weeks before using so that the sugar can fully absorb the flavor of the herbs. The sugar and herb combination will store there for up to one year. You can experiment with other herbs too. Try thyme, lavender, scented geranium, lemon verbena, rosemary. I'm curious, what herb would you try? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let food be your medicine and medicine be your food. So said Hippocrates, often called the father of medicine. Herbal teas are a perfect example of this. They can be pleasurable while also medicinal. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to brew three of my favorite teas, chamomile, eucalyptus, and rose petal. Roots, barks, flowers, and leaves have been used as pleasure and medicine for millennia. Our ancestors often use leaves in the form of teas, and there are so many plants out there that extract so well into teas, like the ones we're gonna to use today. Now remember, if you like this content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's start with chamomile. It used to be a traditional folk remedy for a wide range of health issues. Nowadays, researchers are looking at it for all kinds of health issues from diabetes to cancer. I love using it for relaxation and cold symptoms. Now you can get this at the farmer's market or you can grow it yourself. And to dry it, you simply hang it by a thread until it's brittle and dry like this. And then when you're ready to steep some, all you do is put it in a cheesecloth or a homemade tea bag like I made right here. And maybe about a tablespoon is about right. You put some water in there and you steep it for about three minutes. And that's all you do. Now, the next one I'd like to show you is eucalyptus. It has incredible medicinal properties from combating sore throats to fevers to coughs. Now, the thing about eucalyptus is that it can actually be toxic while also being beneficial. So you wanna take it in small doses and you wanna keep it away from your pets and your kids. But to make some, all you do is put a few torn leaves. I'm putting four torn leaves in a pot of water and you boil it for about four minutes. About two cups of water to couple tablespoons, four torn leaves. Now, I love to use a French press because it's an easy way to filter out the leaves themselves. So I've poured in some hot water. I'm just gonna take this French press, press it down to filter it and just pour it right into a mug. Next, I'd like to show you how to make a soothing rose petal tea. Rose petals can treat all kinds of things from insomnia to depression. Now all you do is dry them yourself. Pick them from the garden and lay them out until they're nice and crispy. I'm taking about two tablespoons here. I'm putting it in a teapot. I'm gonna add some boiling water and I'm gonna let it steep for a few minutes. It's that simple and it's a really pretty color. I'd love to know what are your favorite teas to drink? Share with me in the comments. And for more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Learn how to make your own tea bags. They're great to use for your own homemade tea blends or to give as a gift. Let me show you how. To make your own homemade tea bags, all you need is a few unbleached coffee filters, your favorite tea, and a needle and thread. One of my favorite teas is chamomile, so that's what I'll be using. I'd love to know what your favorite tea is. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback and opinions. The first step is to cut small squares out of your coffee filters through both layers at the same time. Remember, they don't have to be perfect. The shape will not affect the tea bag. 
Next, sew around three sides of the square with your needle and thread. If you plan on making a bunch of these, a sewing machine will definitely come in handy. Finally, fill each tea bag with your chosen tea, typically one to two teaspoons per bag. Then fold over the top and sew or staple shut. You'll want to be sure to leave extra thread at the end to help with retrieving your bag from your brew. You can also attach a tag to the thread to identify your blend. And there you have it, your own homemade tea bags. Want more videos like this? Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let me show you how to turn flowers into a show-stopping garnish. If there's one thing I learned from my grandmother, it's that presentation is key and God is in the details. These sugared flowers are useful to have on hand to beautify any dessert. Now, not all flowers are edible, so you're gonna to wanna to do your research. Today I'm gonna to use pansies and rose petals. With a pastry brush, carefully dust each blossom for grit and remove the stems, making sure the flowers are perfectly dry. Then place them on a sheet of parchment or wax paper. Next, take a small bowl and whisk an egg white with one teaspoon of water until it is slightly thinned. Dip a small brush in the egg white and lightly coat each flower. Then take some super fine sugar and sprinkle it liberally all over the buds. These usually take 24 to 36 hours to dry, but once they do, they last up to six months. Store them in an airtight container. Mine won't usually last that long, but they're delicious. What would you put sugared flowers on? I'd love to know. Share with me in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more modern pioneering tips.